Today we will discuss J Edwards 2022 paper 1 and the first question is we need to simplify this expression in principal values of inverse trigonometric functions. Now if we look at all the three expressions I see pi by root 2 in each of them. So we can write this as 3 by 2. Now this is cos inverse and it will be 1 upon 1 plus and here it will be pi by root 2 square plus 1 by 4 sine inverse and here we can write this as 2 pi by root 2 and 1 plus pi by root 2 square and here it will be 10 inverse 1 upon pi by root 2. Now what we'll do is we'll let pi by root 2 as sum 10 theta. Then theta will be 10 inverse pi by root 2. Now pi by root 2 it is nearly 2.2. Now 10 inverse 1 is pi by 4 and 10 inverse pi by 2 is infinite. That means this theta it lies between pi by 4 and pi by 2. Now if we put 10 theta in this expression which is say y then we can write y equals 3 by 2 cos inverse. Now under root of 1 upon 1 plus 10 square theta. Now this is 1 by 4 sine inverse 2 10 theta upon 1 plus 10 square theta and here it will be 10 inverse of 1 upon 10 theta. Now this is 1 plus 10 square theta secant square theta and under root of secant square theta is secant theta so it will be cos inverse of cos theta. So we can write this as y equals 3 by 2 cos inverse of cos theta plus 1 by 4 sin inverse. Now 2 10 theta upon 1 plus 10 square theta is nothing but sin 2 theta and here it will be 10 inverse of cot theta. Now since theta lies in principal value range of cos inverse of cos theta, we do not have a problem with cancellation of cos inverse of cos theta. So we will simply write this as y equals 3 by 2 theta now plus 1 by 4. Now what about sine inverse of sine 2 theta? Now when theta lies between pi by 4 and pi by 2, 2 theta lies between pi by 2 and pi. Now we know that sine inverse sine x, it is defined like this. Now this is 0, this is pi by 2, now in between minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2. It is simply x, but in this interval between pi by 2 and pi, it is minus x plus pi. So here it will be pi minus 2 theta. And here this is 10 of cot theta. Now we know that this is 10 inverse. Now we can write cot theta as 10 pi by 2 minus theta. Now this pi by 2 minus theta is still in principal value range of 10 inverse. So here it will be simply pi by 2 minus theta. Now this is pi equals 3 theta by 2 plus pi by 4 minus theta by 2 plus pi by 2 and then minus theta. Now 3 theta by 2 will cancel and this is pi by 4 plus pi by 2 which is 3 pi by 4. So answer to this first question is simply 3 pi by 4 and we plug in the value of pi this value it comes out to be nearly 2.36.